In the Florida Keys, kids volunteering to clean up the precious mangroves making an unusual discovery. They found a brick of cocaine and local 10's Janine Sandwood is in the Keys to show us what they did next. Anyone here in the Florida Keys will tell you, you never know what you're going to find out on the water. For a well-known nonprofit and a bunch of high school kids, what started off as a mangrove cleanup turned into a drug discovery. 11 kids came down, we cleaned up a little shoreline. The Conch Republic Marine Army runs a tight ship to keep the Florida Keys clean. But on a trip this week with high school students from Missouri, in the middle of pulling out nearly 350 pounds of trash. One of the students came over to me with a plastic wrapped block and said, hey, what's this? They found something else. I said, uh, I think that's what I think it is. And turned out it was a kilo of cocaine. A wrapped brick of about two and a half pounds of cocaine. We put it in a bucket and uh, called the local sheriff's office. They snapped photos with deputies and federal agents later took the drugs away. So this is the cocaine. It is now secure in evidence at a border patrol facility. Agents tell us the estimated street value, about $35,000. If you encounter a suspicious package, you don't know what's inside it. You have to be extremely careful. We encourage uh, an individual who encounters something like that uh, to contact local law enforcement. We've seen bundles of cocaine washed ashore in the Florida Keys over the last year and found floating in the water. And while the Conch Republic Marine Army, formed after Hurricane Irma to remove debris, has pulled more than 220 tons of junk from miles of shoreline. You never know what you're going to find out here. They say this was a first. This is the first uh, kilo of uh, anything drug related. We haven't found any money, otherwise we'd be much more better funded. <laughs> Those kids have quite a story to tell when they go home. Authorities say the Conch Republic Marine Army did the right thing. They called authorities and now these drugs aren't on the streets. We're in Marathon. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.